Parkinson's disease is one of the most common neurodegenerative disorders, affecting nearly 5% of the population over 80. Although the complete mechanism of PD pathogenesis is unknown, a particular protein, alpha-synuclein, has been implicated as a prime contributor to PD development. Before discussing alpha-synuclein in greater detail, it is necessary to understand the basics of PD. PD is associated with a variety of motor and non-motor symptoms, including tremor, rigidity, memory impairment, and depression. These symptoms are linked to neurodegeneration in the substantia nigra, a region of the midbrain crucial to motor control. As the figure shows, individuals with PD have a 70-80% to 80% decrease in neuronal density in the substantia nigra. So what causes this neurodegeneration? Lewy body formation, another key feature of PD, is believed to play a significant role. The cytoplasmic inclusions are made primarily of alpha-synuclein, but may also contain other proteins such as ubiquitin, 14.33, and tau. As alpha-synuclein is a major constituent of Lewy bodies, let's now explore its structure in detail. Alpha-synuclein is a 140 residue protein that although natively unfolded, commonly assumes a random coil conformation. The protein has three domains. The structure of alpha-synuclein thus provides evidence for an aggregation pathway. Although alpha-synuclein exists primarily as a random coil, covalent modifications such as serine 129-phosphorylation as well as hydrophobic interactions, particularly at the NAC, allow for the polymerization of various alpha-synuclein proteins into an anti-parallel beta Xi conformation. Lateral and linear hydrogen bonding confer greater stability to the beta sheet, further amplifying the aggregation potential of alpha-synuclein and permitting the formation of fibrils. But how do alpha-synuclein and its aggregates contribute to PD pathogenesis? One hypothesized mechanism involves alpha-synuclein-mediated regulation of the apoptotic pathway. To begin, there are four primary proteins involved in the mechanism. 14.33, a molecular chaperone that indirectly regulates cell growth and viability. Alpha-synuclein, BAD, a pro-apoptotic protein. And BCL2, an anti-apoptotic protein. BAD normally functions by binding and inhibiting BCL2, therefore initiating the apoptotic pathway. However, phosphorylation of BAD at serine 136 allows for the binding of 1433. 
This binding disinhibits BCL2, which subsequently inhibits apoptosis. The contribution of alpha-synuclein to the mechanism involves its complexation with 1433. A study at Harvard Medical School found that alpha-synuclein interacts with 1433 to form 54 to 83 kilodalton complexes. Once complexed, 1433 is unable to bind BAD. Sequestration by alpha-synuclein reduces the availability of 1433, thus increasing inhibition of BCL2 by BAD and promoting apoptosis. It is important to note that the aforementioned example is only one of many proposed mechanisms for the role of alpha-synuclein in PD. Other prominent hypotheses include interactions of alpha-synuclein with the ubiquitin proteasome system and the oxidative stress pathway. This complexity suggests that alpha-synuclein contributes to PD pathogenesis in a multi-mechanistic pathway. Ultimately, it is necessary to study the function of alpha-synuclein in all of these mechanisms in order to not only gain a better understanding of PD pathogenesis, but also to allow for the development of improved therapeutic and preventive strategies in the future.